Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little benchmark and to test here with uh, all of these uh, iPhones on iOS 8.3 and the reasons why I don't have the iPhone 5C here is because it has the same internal specs as the iPhone 5. So 4S, the 5, 5S, the 6 and the 6 Plus is the ones I'm having right here. So let's just um, do this pretty quick. And it's not going to be that quick because this program takes a while to run. But um, 8.3, 8 8 8.3, 8.3, 8.3, 8.3, 8.3, sweet. Okay, let's run this here. And also the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus have like the same internal specs if I can recall. So that's a little bit boring. But it's cool. People still want to see it. And the 6 and the 6 Plus like 15, 20% faster than in the 5S. The 5S is twice as fast as the iPhone 5 and the 5 is like three times as fast as 4S sometimes in these uh, benchmark tests, which is testing a ton of different things. It was interesting also with iOS 8.3 how only Apple Pay was in the iPhone 6, and not even the 6 Plus, and the 5, or the 5S, or the 5 or the 4S, but only in the iPhone 6. That's pretty weird. But um, the new emojis, uh, menus, stuff like that was in all of these iPhones and I made separate videos about that. Here's some quick videos that you might want to have a look at on my YouTube page, maybe, if you are uh, interested. Let's see here. They're all at thirty-three percent. We should start to see the four uh, or four S get behind here pretty soon. I think. Especially in the graphics tests, that's really when we're gonna see it start to get behind. Fifty-eight percent. Okay, now we're really starting to see for us or for us starting to get behind. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really getting behind. I really do hope um, they do something interesting with uh, iPhone 7 or iPhone 6s. iPhone 7 is probably going to take over a year before we see that one to come out.
Okay, starting to get finished here. Three devices. Scene four. Okay, interesting how the iPhone 5 finished first, but of course not it's not getting a higher score. So the 6 Plus seems to be the winner here with 46,517. Uh, actually, there is definitely a difference here between that one and the 6. Pretty interesting. The 6 only got 45,000, so around 1,000 more score. And then we do get the iPhone 5S, which is getting around 39,000. So a little bit of a step up there, but not a revolutionary, but definitely a big difference here between the iPhone 5 and the 5S, 27,000 versus like around 39,000. That's definitely a cool uh, update there. Definitely a, a worthy update. So you probably wanna do that thing, upgrade somewhere there. Let's see here. If you're gonna get around 9,000 maybe, maybe 12,000, maybe th I think 13,000 something on the iPhone 4S in uh, this little thing. <laughs> okay, now it seems like it's starting to finish up. That was my Galaxy Note, boy. I like Galaxy Note. Speaking about Galaxy Note 4, we actually got Android 5 Mito. Today got leaked, or not leaked, but officially released in Poland. I'm gonna see when we get that firmware so I can install it myself. I don't live in Poland. Okay, so we get around... Oh. 12,761, so we're almost 13,000. So, I mean, these are, of course, the biggest difference down there. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to get a big step up in performance on the 6S or if it's also going to be just a boring update. And, uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Have an awesome day. Peace out.